I'm Tina Wood. And I'm Laura Foy. As co-host of an interactive talk show about video games, it's important that we have an insider's track on what's happening in our industry. That's right, Tina. That's why we rely on Jeff Keighley to keep us up to date on the latest news in gaming. No one person is more plugged in and more respected than the editor-in-chief of Game Slice and contributing writer to Entertainment Weekly, MTV Magazine, and Business 2.0. That's right. And of all the co-hosts we've had, Jeff was definitely our favorite. Wow, I really appreciate all that stuff, guys. Thanks. Uh, did you really mean it, though? No. No, not at all. Jeff, we just want our pants back. Oh, Thanks for coming. <gasps> but I'm keeping the panties. is G4 TV, the show where gamers get to sound off. Now, Tina, how's your week been? Okay, my week's been pretty good, but, you know, I'm still obviously having a hard time with this FSU Miami loss that happened almost two weeks ago. You need to get over it. I can't. You might I, need some therapy. I just, there's certain things in life I, I can understand, you know, and, and there's certain things I can't, and I don't understand how Florida State cannot okay, be okay, okay. the University of Miami <laughs> of football. I don't get it. You know what, I Tina? <laughs> we're not talking about that. I'm sorry I asked. I don't get because it. Because with us today for his encore performance is the guy who can get both Tina and I out of our <gasps> pants at the same time. Jeff Keeley. Jeff Keeley. How are you guys doing? I still got the panties here. Yeah, hey, there you go. Don't go selling those. <laughs> Let's see what gamers want to talk about. Hey, caller. Hello? Hey, what's your name? Hey, it's Jack Ruby Ultima. Hey, Jack Ruby Ultima. Uh, where are you from? Riverside. Riverside. What would you like to talk to us about? Yeah, about the um, DS. Okay. They, they just announced the price, right? Yeah, they did. And, you know, everyone seems to think, you know, well, it's a great price, not as expensive as we thought. Yeah. But they're still, you know, they're still going to want to charge you for, like, wireless or something. They probably would. Right. Well, you're talking about, yeah, so it's only $1,000. No, right. <laughs> so you're asking, because it comes, it's $1.49, uh, and you're asking whether or not they're going to charge additional for the wire, wireless service? That's what I'm, yeah, that's kind of asking. That's I mean, your yeah. speculation. Jeff, what do you think? I my guess is that they probably will. I have a lot of questions about sort of the online component to yeah. DS. They're talking about it as a, a big part of it, but we have no information on it. We don't even have clarity on what games are going to be right, online no. able. We know that the Metroid Prime Hunters demo that's going to come with it is going to feature some online. Right. But I'm not clear if it's just going to be online, if you have to be in the same room, or if you can actually play people cross-country. So, you know, Nintendo down the road will probably charge people, but I think, you know, it's going to take a long time until they're the games that are really going to support it in a big right. way. Right. Once the software's there, then Nintendo's going to have control over it and really be able to do what they want. I don't think 149 seems that bad. A Inflation. Game Boys. I think 149 is a great price. 149 is yeah. great. Yeah. Like, I was, uh, everyone was surprised when it was that cheap. Yeah. Everyone was thinking it was going to be 199. You know, PSP people are expecting it's going to be 300. So I think Nintendo made a smart move making it 149. But interesting though, they're doing this online push, and yet they, didn't Nintendo just come out recently saying that gamers don't care about online gaming? That is true. What's it's, that about? It's a little backwards. Are you a Nintendo uh, fan caller? Um. A little bit, you know. I just, I sort of, um, sort of dropped off after N64, though. Yeah. So, are you? Do you think you're going to pick up the Nintendo DS, or you think you're going to look maybe a little Sony device? Um, you know what? I, I might pick it up if it's not doesn't turn out to be like Virtual Boy, the sequel. You know? No, absolutely. Right. I hear you're saying. Thanks, caller. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, caller. Let's That's move interesting. On. Charging for the wireless. They don't mention that. No, they don't. Uh, Fine print. We have smart callers. <laughs> hey, <laughs> caller. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Mark Michaels, or on the board, I'm known as Lucky Capone. We'll take you, Lucky Capone. Uh, what would you uh, like to talk to us about? Um, that game, Second Sight. Well, Second Sight is a game that uh, people are comparing it to PsyOps. We've played it a little bit. We have a review build in. Um, I do. Ah! I do. Yeah, ah. it's, it's all right. I mean, it's, 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 Codemasters is not a company that's known for putting out, you know, great games. But the developer, Free Radical, or the guys who did Time Splitters, yeah. known for doing a lot of good games. I like some of the, you know, some of the stuff they're doing with physics and with moving objects around, but it just feels like kind of a poor man. It's style. so second yeah. rate to science. Yeah. Like, unless it's, you have a GameCube and no other system, I really see no reason for you to get this game uh, uh, as opposed to PsyOps. Now, they're touting it as having a better story. But let's talk about it's an action game. Do we really care about the story? Yeah, you don't I know. Care. I don't care about the damn story. And it's a little frustrating. She's like, what, you know, kind of getting lost a little bit. Like, what am I supposed to do? How much? Which power do I need the to kind of go through here? The telekinetic powers were nowhere near well, as cool. The as controls were also have some problems, and I think you know the way you use physics in this is not as precise as Psyops. Psyops really nailed yeah. making the controls on the right analog work well with the objects. This has some problems with objects kind of getting stuck and stuff. Yeah, so look, it's Grim, all right, Grim Reaper but. 1986 on the board says he hates the game's controls. This kind of game is best played in third person or first person viewpoints, not a viewpoint you'd see in everything or well, nothing. We'll, we'll call our, have you played PsyOps? Yeah. Yeah, stick with that, buddy. Yeah. Stick with that. Listen, we've got to take a break, but get out those feeder mice because later we're going to get up close and personal with the world's most famous lizard. <gasps> and it's not Tina. <laughs> Tina.
Hey, this is Scott Rubin from G4TV.com. If I have to think back to some of these memories that you know, really still stick with me after all these years, it would have to be getting out to E3 and meeting the people who are actually at home watching G4. But we didn't think anyone was watching. In this home, a family grows. Children learn and play. Bonds are built. But before it was a house, it was a detailed drawing on a plan. The bachelor degree program in construction management in the School of Drafting and Design at ITT Technical Institute offers educational opportunities that can help students prepare for challenging and rewarding careers in the construction industry. There's a demand for individuals with knowledge and skills to manage construction projects. The construction industry needs professionals who can oversee construction projects in accordance with the plans and specifications. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of many, this dream became a home. There are still many more to be built. ITT Technical Institute School of Drafting and Design. Education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Critics have been blown away by the journey. I got to suffer! Journey to the center of the earth, ready PG. Take the journey in real D 3D in select theaters. Now playing. There's one. There's another one. And another one. Get more than you ever imagined when you trade your games for something new at GameStop, where 150 titles are worth $15 or more. Power to the players. Mentos gum is irresistibly fresh. Mm. Buy your personalized pocket bottle at MyMentosGum.com. Mentos gum, irresistibly fresh. When I got into college, I thought I was set. I looked into every grant and scholarship. The feds hooked me up with a loan. But I still came up short. Then I got an Astrive student loan. An Astrive student loan? It's a loan just for students. I borrowed exactly what I needed. I even got to study in Italy, which I never would have been able to do. It helped me pay for my new laptop. My parents put their names on the loan too, which is cool because it'll save me money. Forget high interest credit cards. I'm making payments while I'm in school to save money later. When your grants, scholarships, and federal loans aren't enough to pay for college, an Astrive student loan lets you borrow the money you still need. Get your check in about a week, and you can choose to pay it back after you graduate. With an Astrive student loan, I don't have to stress out about paying for school. An Astrive student loan? Learn about it. If you still need more money for college, talk to your parents about an Astrive student loan. Then go to MyAstriveLoan.com to learn more or apply today. Warning! The following career training information may cause extreme excitement, increased heart rate, raised blood pressure, sweatiness, dizziness, and a compelling urge to do what you love for a living. Be a game designer. This is a multi-billion dollar industry that's always looking for creative people like you. You can train for a career creating tomorrow's hottest games. Collins College can teach you what you need to know. Plus, you'll graduate with a portfolio to showcase your work. At Collins College, your passion is our profession. Go to collinscollege.edu or call 888-823-0999. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. There's one show out there that keeps coming up. Pearl. It's good, unclean fun. Eat it. The greatest gag reflex competition ever mounted. It's gastronomic molestation. Reality TV that's turning heads and stomachs. Pearl. All new Sunday at 7, only on G4. For the second time, proving that Tina and I keep them coming back for more is Jeff Keeley. Jeff Keeley, there you and, go. And joining you... me, of course, yes, are is... your panties. So we have three that's, guest hosts. That's great. That's week. great. I don't you know, know what they really speaking are. Speaking of coming back for more, when you need a little fix of G4 TV, Tina. When, when can they get that? They can get it Wednesdays, 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. And um, don't forget to watch us or hit our message boards at G4TechTV.com. Get your voice heard or don't. We might just put them on the show if we hear them. Yes, let's hear some right that now. That sounds good. Hey, caller. Hello. Hey, what's your name? I'm Chicken Noodle. 
Chicken noodle. Chicken noodle. That. <laughs> that tickles you kind of for See? some reason. He makes me feel better. Chicken noodle, where are you calling from? In Coachella, California. All right. Um, what would you like to talk about with the three of us? Like two, like what's new in the game and why should I buy it? You should buy it now. Slide I two. love yeah. it. Tina likes a platformer, ladies and yes, gentlemen. Mark I this do. day in your calendars. Did you play the first uh, slide game? Yeah. And what'd you think of it? Uh, it was all right. It was all right. Well, some oh. people are saying this isn't quite as good as the first one. Who's I saying actually that? wasn't that big of a people on the boards. If you'd go to our boards and check them, you'd look and see that. People, really? um, I, I actually think, so think it's a little bit, I'm having more fun with this than I actually did with the original game. Really? Yeah. Yes. No, there's, and there's a lot of new stuff. I mean, you can play not just Sly, you can play, you know, Bentley, Bentley and right? you can play, um, you know, the whole team. And I think it's got, it's got kind of an interesting economy system. You can kind of upgrade the characters as you go yep. along. It's Buy got a moves. lot of good stuff to it. My worry is that, you know, this game is still so kind of kitty and childlike. You know what? I, I totally but, agree with you. And I am a big fan of the Sly, you know, franchise now. But, like, the text, the dialogue, the jokes, they're really, like, not funny to me. Yeah, the dialogue to me is just, it feels, I mean, it's like, it's it's so cartoonish. It's, it's just kind of so over the top. And I love well, the what, style. What? Can you guys not be 35 years old and enjoy a good, cute game? <laughs> I enjoy the game. Saying? I enjoy the game. And let me tell you one thing, a major improvement, I think, from this, the original Sly game. Uh, the, you mentioned you can play as multiple characters. But the cool yeah. thing is, when you play as multiple characters, you're all in the same environment. And you go back to one, back right, to the other. Where I really think this is where they failed in Munch's Odyssey, and I'm a big fan of that franchise, too. Y'all know where you had to like go from different environment, and it was weird for me. But I felt disjointed. But here you're together as a team, and you're working together. Working on Working together yeah, on one absolutely. mission. It's family. And LA King fan 18 says uh, the graphics are incredible for a cell shaded game, and the gameplay is easy to catch on to. This is going on to uh, his list, just like the predecessor. Thank you, caller. Pick it up. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Pick it up. It's hey, better than the first. Absolutely. Hey, caller. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Jack. Jack, where are you calling from? Glendale, California. All right, do you have a question for us? Yeah, uh, it's about Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005. Okay, would you like to know? Uh, how much do you guys think it improved from last year's version? It's uh, well, it's a it's good improved. game. It's I mean it's a it's a golf game. I, yeah. my, my favorite thing in this game though is the they have this great sort of create a player feature and yes. I spent like oh, I don't know if you guys Jeff. have done it but it's oh, just why like, even bother? You have to go through hours, pick the hair, <laughs> pick the brow, pick the color, pick but the nose. I mean, you can actually the lip lock, lip you can, gloss. You can yeah. do fun stuff. You can put like freckles on people. I, I don't know if you saw Tiger Woods was on. He was on Conan O'Brien the other night and they actually had they put like Conan O'Brian in the game. Oh, and stuff. Did they miss yeah. it? No, it's um it's really cool. You can create your own golf. <laughs> Waste of time. What? It's fun. Don't you like that stuff? It is a fun game. Give me the game. No, I, I agree with that. I think if you're really actually a, a big fan of real golf, too, I, it's the best ga golf game out there. Right. You know, we've talked a little bit also. I don't know. Our, our, uh, have you played 2004? Yeah. Caller? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I would absolutely play this. I mean, right. in, in some ways, it's like a lot of money to be playing because it's not it, that many right, different things. Right, is it worth another $50 yeah. to buy? But I, they have this Tiger Vision feature. I don't know if you've seen it, yeah. but it actually yeah. allows Tiger to sort of, you know, you see where the putt's going to go. Right. So it's some people are saying it's making the game too easy because it sort of, you know, gives you hints. But I think well, it's there, great it is, to make but it more there's accessible. Also, you know, there's more of a, like, there's more customization that you can do, so you can actually make the, uh, the course harder and more Caller, difficult at the beginning. Do you like golf games in general? Yeah. Yeah, well, what about more like arcade golf games like uh, Hot, Hot or Outlaw played, Golf? I haven't played any of those, but I've played Mario Golf. And that's Mario good times. That's, that's, that's good times. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would stick. I would stick with that stuff. Hot Shots Golf Four is fun. I absolutely prefer Tiger Woods games, but it's I really like realistic more sim. sim. Yeah. If you're looking for a quick, just pick up and play and have a good time. You're gonna go with Outlaw. You're gonna go with Hot Shots. If you want more of a, a realistic golf sim, like create your character. I guess go with that. Yeah, Tiger, Tiger Woods. Again, EA Sports, they always deliver, you know, the best, most realistic sports. Just in the game. Yeah. All right, I hope, I hope I that, that answered that your question. Sorry. We answered Coffee. each other, so I don't know if that helped. I think it helped. <laughs> I don't know. I feel better. You know, I, I kind of feel like we made it all about us. Really? Maybe yeah, why don't we throw a break? Hey, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> but coming up, Jeff is going to give away some free G4 goodies Ooh. to some gamers who know fact from that? fiction. And on our way out, <laughs> let's take a quick look at Gamefly's top game <laughs> rentals. You're plugged into G4 Rewind, up next sweat. I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, 877 cash now. I have an annuity but I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, 877 cash now. 877 cash now. They help thousands, they'll help you too. One lump sum of cash they will pay to you. If you get 
get long-term payments, but you need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call J.G. Wentworth, 877 cash now. With over a billion movies delivered so far, it's movie time. Netflix. This is you after an energy drink. Unfortunately, so is this. Why do energy drinks make you crash? One minute you're wired up, the next you feel worse than before. The answer is large amounts of sugar and caffeine. That's why you should try a new liquid energy shot called 5-Hour Energy. With 5-Hour Energy, you can leave grogginess behind and sail through your day without feeling jittery, tense, or, you know. That's because 5-Hour Energy contains a powerful blend of B vitamins for energy and amino acids for focus, alertness, and better mood. There's zero sugar, about as much caffeine as a cup of coffee, and only 4 calories. The 2-ounce shot takes just seconds to drink, and in minutes you're feeling bright, awake, and productive. And that feeling lasts for hours. So if your energy drink makes you crash, switch to 5-Hour Energy. Hours of energy now, no crash later. Find out if 5-Hour Energy is right for you. It's available at these fine stores. Or for more information, go to 5-HourEnergy.com. What if I told you there's a quick and easy way to get today's most popular stuff for free? All you need is internet access. Answer a few questions, then tell us where to send your free gift. It's fast, it's easy, and it's real. Thousands of people have already claimed their free gift. I thought it was too good to be true. Then I got my free Xbox. I got a free Xbox for my son. An offer like this doesn't come around every day. Check out the website now and get your free gift. I got $583 from CashForGold.com. All I did was look through my drawer full of jewelry that I never wear. Turn your unwanted or broken jewelry, gold, silver, platinum, rings, chains, and bracelets into cold hard cash from CashForGold.com. I had no idea my gold jewelry was worth so much money. With gold, silver, and platinum at their highest value in decades, CashForGold.com is able to give you top dollar for your unwanted jewelry. And because we own our refinery, we can cut out the middleman, which means more cash in your pocket. I sent in my diamond wedding band for my first marriage and got money the very next day. Just call the number below and ask for your free, prepaid, insured refiner's return pack. Fill the envelope with your unwanted or broken gold, silver, and platinum jewelry and mail it to our processing center. A safe, reliable transaction with satisfaction guaranteed. Call 1-800-984-5883. Call now. This August, X-Play's got game as Adam and Morgan travel the globe bringing you the biggest gaming conventions in the world. You want to see them and we've got them. Starting with G4's fan favorite award show, g Then on to Germany's Leipzig, Europe's battleground for console domination. And PAX, Washington's huge indie gamer culture party. So you just got done playing Metal Gear Solid 4? I gotta say, this is now one of the must-have games. This August, X-Play's got game all month long starting August 7th. Part of G4's Stay Out of the Sun Summer. Alright, my favorite old school G4 show has to be G4TV.com because X-Play covers it now, but G4TV.com was the original place to get all your video game information. The chemistry between Laura and Tina was great, and I guess everybody appreciated it when Jeff chipped in every once in a while. And welcome back to the show that bears all and bearing all the Jeff Keeley. Yeah, you're pretty nice proud guys. of those, aren't glad, you? Glad to be back <laughs> here. With. Yes, I'm, I'm going to keep them here. Yeah, we're not going to say whose is whose. We won't we're say just, what we're we not have gonna. of yours inside of the dressing room, That's Jeff right. Now, but let me tell you, at home, sometimes you look at something that's kind of weird, like yeah. Tina, and, oh, you just look away, right? <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes... <laughs> not you after look, a couple drinks, you know. You look <laughs> just a little longer, and you'll see something truly beautiful. Oh. So, yes, just like Tina, occasionally 
cool things come in strange packages. And I'll bet that's the case with this week's Twisted and Sweet, presented by Juicy Fruit. You don't join me anymore? I just, I just sat there and took that. Wow. I just right. took that's it. Tough. I took a I beating. I feel the tension right I took here. a yeah. beating from you. I get no love anymore. I'm joking around. But Jeff, tell me what game is weird and yet beautiful for you. Yes. Well, this is definitely a weird game. It's okay. uh, Amplitude. It's a game yes. for PlayStation 2 that came out about a year ago. It was one of my favorite games last year, and it's just totally twisted. It's, you know, it's basically a rhythm game, but it's my favorite rhythm game. No, it's a seizure. Game. I want to have a seizure <laughs> <laughs> next I half hour game. game. It's fun. And, you know, you, you pick the different tracks. You have, you know, drums and bass and vocals. You basically just do the patterns for these different games. Right. But what's great about this is it's got yeah. great music. It's got, yeah. you know, Blink-182, Pink, BT. Garbage. Garbage is in there. Absolutely great bands. And also, it's an online rhythm game. You can actually face off against people online, and there's no other rhythm game that's been able to do this kind of stuff. There's a remix feature. I love this game. It's only about 20 <laughs> bucks now. I thought it was really hard, really but difficult. I do enjoy it. Let me tell you, Kevin Pariwai of G4 oh, fame oh, is so a master at this, at this game. game. Right, it's yeah. a, it's Kevin ridiculous. Yeah, he's a, is he now, a musician? Yeah, and he's a percussionist as well. So. See, I've heard that. Drummers do well at the game, and one yeah. other reason then, it's twisted and sweet. There you go. It's more twisted than times. sweet, I think. You're not doing I it. Think it's just really game. It's Drummers just game. Are sweet, okay, well, it's not about that anymore. So everyone's favorite giant radioactive lizard is back, and this time... He's back online and to show off Godzilla Save the Earth Wait, is... Tina, we, we got to class up the place for the guests. Scott McCarthy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tina, leaving your underwear all <laughs> yes. over the place. I, I forgot. You can't right. take well, that, Bring in the guests. Bring in the okay. guests now. All right. Scott McCarthy, brand manager of Atari, and my neighbor. There you go. Yes. Yes. New neighbors, new neighbors. And, and your neighbors. Now, now... First of all, what is it that you want to tell us about this game? We went out and we asked f just fans of Godzilla, what do you want out of the next Godzilla game? And mm -hmm. they told us by far, we want the game on PS2, we want an Xbox, we want it online. And that is exactly what we were able to bring them. We posted the board for everyone to write you in questions. Right and uh, B. Harlan 2002 wrote in, with the little intricacies that made the movie so much fun still be there, such as the uh, not-so-good voice acting. The, that's a good voice <laughs> acting. That's not really part of the entire Godzilla yeah. franchise, the license. That, but uh, it's still that we got that get. kind it, of exactly. camp. We still got yeah. guys in costumes running around the city, so that's really what we were going for. <laughs> And uh, you see Jet Jaguar and Godzilla 2000 right there. So, I mean, that, you know, we were able to bring in a lot of the really, really cool monsters that the fans yeah. really, really wanted. Well, let's take a call. Hey, caller. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Tyler. Tyler, where are you calling from? Bristol, Connecticut. All right, you a fan of Godzilla? Yeah. What's your question for Scott? Will there be anything exclusive to the PS2 version or the Xbox version of the game? You know what, Tyler? The, uh, the PS2 and the Xbox version are exactly alike. You can go online with both of them. So but there, but there is a PS2 version this year, which you guys exactly. have finally... Because that's the thing is this Godzilla you know, came on the, the GameCube, then the Xbox. Right. Why is it taking so long to bring it to PS2? You know, we just really thought that the GameCube was the for the original game was the best right. one to go out with. We had a great party game, and mm -hmm. the, the GameCube was the party system. So Before now we have an online game, and PS2 and, and Xbox are the, part, are the online systems. Thanks, Tyler. Totally appreciate it. Now, you talk about online. How many players are we talking about in downloadable content? What yeah. we? We're still planning on downloadable content. There will be up to four players online, but you can still do the one-on-one -on -one versus. So there's up to five modes of play when you go online. Yeah. And talk a little bit about some more of the other monsters that we can look yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about the monsters. Space Godzilla is going to be in the game. Jet Jaguar that you see there yeah. is in the game. Baragon's in the game now. There's actually finally a full playable version of Mothra that everyone wanted. That's you know, so we, we basically just put in everything that the gamers were asking us for. And which cities? We, well, we got a UFO, so we've got something far, UFOs far away. Yeah, the <laughs> UFOs drop power-ups. The city that we're fighting right now is Boston. Is Godzuki in the game? Godzuki's not in the game. Good, I don't really like Godzuki. Exactly. Godzuki's expensive. Godzuki, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank Godzuki. Godzuki. Godzuki's not in the game. Godzuki's the only monster with an agent, so you know, exactly. we, had to, we had to avoid Godzuki. And uh, is Adam Fish wants to know, talk about the battle system. Pretty close to... The first game, or the original well, game? Well, we really retooled the entire battle system, so the the, the, the battle system is much more uh, intricate than it used to be, and actually there are more combo moves and a lot more specific moves per monster. Right, now let me tell you, we I think this is the host challenge that we did last year. That was good. <laughs> Where We're not going to talk about it. Let me tell you, it's an emotion. You can get very invested into this game. We had a host challenge with the gods like that got a little heated, and so to won? speak. And uh, who won? Who won? Laura did, but uh, it was between Laura and Scott, it's, actually. It's, it's debatable, but hey, you Laura are. Laura actually, threw, not, she not, actually not, threw in her controller not, before it was over. Whatever, she cheated. Yeah. And see, the game's not allowed Bad to do memory. that. She doesn't <laughs> want to remember any of this. Bad God, memory. I'm talking. All right, next week, G4TV.com is turning Japanese. We really think so. And in honor of the Tokyo Game Show, we'll be looking at this year's show and what it means for you and your gaming future. Plus, Tina, a, a brand, brand new, new cutscene theater. It so really make sure to tune in next Wednesday at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. That's
going to be a good time. It's going to be very, very it's good. It's going to be fun, so check yeah. it out. But in about two minutes, we're going to give away some super cool stuff. But right now, EA is giving away 50 grand it's to the winner of, of its Madden tournament. That kind of makes our shirts and stuff seem uh, not, like they're about 50 cents. Not so cool. <laughs> but uh, let's check in on the tour anyway. <laughs> Jay Sparks back again for yet another installment of the 2004 EA Sports Madden Challenge. We're in the 12th city on a tour of Philly, where the big story is the Madden Road Warriors that have traveled from all over the country to take place in this particular bracket. We gonna catch up with them, find out a little bit about their lifestyles, their travels, and how they're getting down on the sticks. And I understand you've been to a couple of other cities just to compete in the Madden Challenge. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, nothing much to say. I was up in Boston uh, last week. Uh, I was in New York yesterday, made it to the playoffs in New York, lost in the first round. New York. A lot of people went deep. I haven't seen Philly yet, so going to find out. Can we expect to see you at any other Madden challenges throughout the remainder of this year? Yes, sir. D.C., South Carolina, Atlanta. There's too many hurricanes out in Florida. You might see me somewhere else, though. Just understand that the next time you come to a Madden challenge, you might be facing off against one of these very road warriors we talking about. And then the only question remains is, do you got game? All right, now sometimes I lie. I just straight up make up a bunch of crap and then tell Talora, like, you look good today. Thanks, Tina. And she believes me and I laugh at her. Oh. Oh. Anyway, to make sure nobody laughs at you, we're going to clear up some video game truths and untruths because it's time for... That's right, Jeff has some statements here, some true, some not so much, and he's going to read each one to a caller who will guess whether he's lying or not. Get it right, get the prize. We got hats, we got t-shirts, you ready? I'm ready, the let's, callers let's are get lined a call. up. I'm ready. Hey, caller. Hello. Hey, what's your name? Killer Mike on the board, and Michael. Michael, where are you calling from? Theodore, Alabama. All right, you ready for Jeff? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, Michael, uh, here's the first rumor. Okay, imagine a teeter-totter. On one end, you put four of the new sleek-looking PlayStation 2 hardware units. On the other end, you put one Xbox. Believe it or not, the side with the one Xbox is still going to be heavier than those new PlayStation 2s. Do you believe me or not? Uh, I believe you. You are correct. Yeah, that's true. Right. Absolutely. All wow. right. Congratulations. Right. We'll be sending you some swag. Yeah, that's Those are some light little suckers, huh? Yeah, yeah. they're like, they're, I think they're 900 grams each. And an Xbox is like, you know, it's, it's four pounds. That's drug talk, isn't like it? That. It's true. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. That's well, the first the one. Call. Hey, caller. Hey. Hey, what's your name? This is Jim. Maximus on the forums. I think you know the last name. Yeah, we do. Pain a kiss. Yep. All right. Let's go. Listen up for Jeff. Okay, Jim. Here we go. Uh, to promote the upcoming release of Halo 2, Microsoft is distributing t-shirts emblazoned with the slogan, I can kick your ass in Halo 2. Now, the campaign has been such a success that Microsoft will soon put out a similar shirt for Blinks 2 with the slogan, I can suck you down in Blinks 2. Believe me or don't. Ooh, that's a good one. What do you yeah. think? That, that's just too stupid to be false. I have to say <laughs> true. Actually, it's not true. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're too smart for yourself. That's right. You're overthinking it. You are overthinking it. All right. All right. Thanks, Max. But I worry about Jeff that made that rumor up. I was like, okay. All right. Hey, caller. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Um, RFX. RFX, where are you calling from? Uh, Rochester, New York. Listen carefully. Okay, here's the next one. Uh, in the second week of release, Burnout 3 Takedown, which is one of the best games of the year, was the best-selling PlayStation 2 title in a major retailer, selling more copies than both Sly 2, which is what we talked about earlier, and Shellshock Nam 67. Do you believe me or don't? Um, I believe you. Unfortunately, that's not true. Oh, Jeff, yeah. killed uh, him this week. No, and it was t I was really surprised by this, but actually Sly 2 and Shellshock Nam 67 sold more copies than Burnout 3 on the PS2. I was really disappointed about this. I'm not disappointed, too, but, but Sly 2 is good times. So. Absolutely. All right, Sorry, buddy. True. All right, last one. one. Last right, one. One, one, one. Hey, caller. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Splurso MGS. All right, listen carefully for Jeff Keeley. Okay, here we go. Here's the big rumor. In the wake of the recent Women's and Games conference held in Austin, Texas, Microsoft will release an Xbox for the holidays. Now, the console will be in pink, believe it or not, and will come with free access to Xbox Live and a lot of casual games on Xbox Arcade. Do you believe me or don't? Uh, I don't know about a pink Xbox. Uh, I don't believe you. You're right. That's oh, true. Two yeah. Wait, two he said two. he doesn't right. believe you. He doesn't believe me. That's, there's no pink there's Xbox. There's no pink Xbox. Right, that's, that's what right. I meant. That's okay. It. Everybody gets prizes because, as you know, it is G4TV.com. We are out of time. We want to thank our guests, Scott McCarthy and, of course, Jeff Keeley for playing with us. And you Thanks, guys, guys for making the show happen. Keep playing. We're out of here. Tina, you look good. I do. I'm a swag girl. Remember how we lied? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Get those get back. There's one show out there that keeps coming up. Pearl. Oh.
It's good, unclean fun. Eat it! Eat it! The greatest gag reflex competition ever mounted. Don't puke, brother! Don't puke! Eat more! It's gastronomic molestation. <laughs> it will bring about the imminent destruction of the human race. <laughs> Reality TV that's turning heads and stomachs. <laughs> Pearl. All new Sunday at 7, only on G4.